Hi everyone, welcome to News at National. I'm your host Rick Zarr. One of the latest releases from National Semiconductor is a great family of Certis products, a set of serializers and deserializers that deliver excellent link performance, including the ability to support longer interconnects using less expensive media, delivering higher data rates and stable operation in harsh environments. With this new breed of Certis products, National is taking Certis technology to the next level with higher speeds, lower I.O. pin counts, and FPGA-friendly solutions that lower your system costs. This latest offering from National Semiconductor simplifies your system solutions, giving you a complete FPGA serial interface solution in a tiny 48-pin LLP package. Among their many features, the DS32EL0421 and 0124 provide a wide operating serial data rate, from 1.25 gigabits per second to 3.125 gigabits per second. They are optimized to interface with FPGAs using LVDSIOs for data and clock signals, reducing the number of FPGA pins. And they have an on-chip low bandwidth PLL to clean up excessive jitter passed from the FPGA. The chipset has advanced on-chip signal conditioning, including a transmit driver, a receive equalizer, DC balance encoding, a read timer, and redundant IOs. This enables the use of multiple interconnects like CAT5, FR4, and fiber, reducing external system components and board space. Each chip has a 5-bit LVDS parallel bus, replacing the traditional single-ended wide bus, and reducing the number of FPGA I.O. lines, which simplifies board layout, increases noise immunity, and minimizes EMI. And one of the most important features of these chips is that they do not need an external reference clock. Let me demonstrate for you how these features and some others we have yet to discuss combine to allow you to drive connections up to 3.125 gigabits per second over long distances. What we have here on the bench is an FPGA evaluation board for these new Certis devices. The serializer board is connected to a deserializer across the 20 meter CAT6 cable. On the scope here, we can see how clean the signal is coming off the serializer with the emphasis. After this, the signal is traveling through 20 meters of CAT6 cable. And on the next scope here, we can see how the signal has degraded after its trip through the channel. The DS32EL0124 deserializer takes that signal and with its built-in programmable equalization, conditions the signal back to a significantly cleaner data output, as we can see here on this scope. On the second demo setup, the read timer output from the deserializer is looped through a series of deserializer boards. Each hop is connected using a different media type. Link 1 has CAT6, Link 2 has 50 ohm coax, Link 3 has FR4, Link 4 has fiber, and finally Link 5 has CAT5. The advantage of the national solution here is that each deserializer offers a reclocked active loop through with a transmit driver. It allows the reserialization of data in daisy chaining or media conversion applications without the need for an extra serializer. You can gain even more versatility with these Certis chipsets in the multiple application scenarios that they support. In addition to the standard point to point link and daisy chain link, one valuable scenario is the redundant link's design. In this scenario, the transmitter can drive two output links simultaneously with the same data, feeding two receivers for either a failover system or for multiple receivers. Or you can configure multiple devices in a link aggregation mode using combinations of the ELX0421 serializer and the ELX0124 deserializer. By relying on the data valid output from the serializer to link two of them together, you can increase the data throughput up to 6.25 gigabits per second and more with each additional unit. So there you have it. You can see why one phrase that summarizes these Certis products is easy performance. You can get additional information on these Certis solutions from National Semiconductor at national.com interface. There are also links to reference designs and other design tools in the lower corner of the newsletter. That's all for this edition of News at National. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.